APEC 2017 Finance Minister's Meeting wraps up. More than 60 Japanese enterprises to attend Japan ICT Day 2017. Japanese Artist Gallery opened in Da Nang. The RT News is happy to have you watching today. After a working day, the closing section of the APEC Finance Minister's Meeting 2017 took place in late afternoon of October the 21st. The Vietnamese Minister of Finance, the FMM 2017 Chairman Dinh Tien Yung, extended his congratulations on the success of the APEC Finance Minister's Meeting. On the basis of summarizing results achieved in the year, the meeting set out orientation toward cooperation in the following years. The APEC ministers focused on discussing four priority themes in the APEC finance ministers' process toward the prosperity of the Asian Pacific region, including finance for infrastructure, erosion of tax bases, and transfer of profits, finance and disaster risk insurance, inclusive finance, whereby helping the APEC member economies, especially the developing economies, to effectively deal with their difficulties, challenges, and and contributing to the overall development of the region. The result of the APEC Finance Minister's meeting will be submitted to the APEC 2017 National Committee with the aim of preparing the content for the APEC Economic Leaders Week taking place in early November in Da Nang City. Right after that, under the chairmanship of the Vietnamese Minister of Finance, also chairman of FMM 2017, Dinh Tien Yung, Minister of Finance and leader of 21 APEC member economies, has a press conference to announce the results of the meeting. On behalf of the ministers, the Vietnamese Minister of Finance, FMM 2017 Chairman Dinh Tien Yung, informed the press on the content of the joint statement of APEC Finance Ministers. After discussing economic prospects currently faced by APEC member countries, the ministers gave relatively optimistic assessment on economic stability and sustainability, at the same time committed to mobilize national tools to ensure stable economic growth, sustainability, and minimize financial shocks. With regard to Cebu Action Plan, the minister suggested that member economies and international organizations continue working together in executing the next steps. Regarding four priority themes, the minister agreed on encouraging investment in infrastructure, diversifying financial resources, and promoting private sector. The joint statement also recommended that member economies have policies to prevent erosion of tax base and profits transferred, prevent and minimize effects of disasters. It was also proposed that partners provide continuous support of innovative ideas, promoting financial integration and encouraging building agenda on development of inclusive economy. More than 750 liaison officers and volunteers for APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017 in Da Nang have just continued to experience further training about ASPEC guidelines, diplomatic reception and international cooperation protocols. Liaison officers and volunteers mobilized by Da Nang City are responsible for ensuring the activities of member states, leaders and delegates throughout the event, supporting the reporting work of press agencies accompanying APAC member states, leaders and other reporters during the submit week. They include students, local government officers, and university teachers who are able to speak English and other languages such as Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Spanish, Thai. The teams have also experienced many training courses for serving APAC. To ensure safety and security for APAC Economic Leaders Week 2017, Dana will ban all kinds of trucks and over 16 seat buses in some routes before and during the event. Accordingly, from November the 3rd to the 12th, Dana will ban all trucks from operating 24 on 24 hours on all routes in the city. From November the 5th to the 12th, trucks and buses of over 16 seats will be prohibited from entering the CBD, except for vehicles marked with APEC symbol. 
From November the 3rd to the 12th, no parking on 30 streets, except for vehicles serving APAC. Trucks in need of access to teen support and shuttle buses from Hoi An to Da Nang are to be rerouted. In addition, the city of Da Nang will put temporary determination to the swinging of Hang River Bridge and the display of Dragon Bridge Fire and Water Spraying on four days of November the 4th, the 5th, 11th and the 12th. Similarly, cruise ships operating on Hang River are to be suspended on November the 9th, the 10th and 11th. Da Nang Administrative Science Association has just organized the workshop on improving public service delivery policy. Over the years, the city government has conducted many new ways of implementation, reforming the public administrative service delivery, contributing to enhancing the efficiency of suppliers' agencies. However, during the management and implementation of the policy, there have remained many obstacles, drawbacks and deficiencies in capabilities and resources. At the workshop, many speeches focused on suggesting solutions for arranging and reforming the organization and operation of public agencies, the autonomy of these units, and the expansions of online public service, aiming at building a professional, specialized, dynamic, transparent, and efficient public service. In three days from October 26th to October 28th, there will take place the 11th Japan ICT Day 2017 in Ho Chi Minh City and Da Nang City. Japan ICT Day 2017 expects the attendance of about 300 Vietnamese and Japanese delegates. This is an annual trade promotion and IT cooperation activity between Vietnam and Japan, jointly organized by Vinasa and VJC in 2007. This year, Japan ICT Day is one of the major business events connecting IT enterprises in the two countries. This year's event will be organized under the theme Digital Transformation, a new era for IT cooperation between Vietnam and Japan. In Da Nang, the event will include trade promotion activities, product exhibitions, seminars on seeking solutions, and so on, thereby creating favorable conditions for enterprises of the two countries to introduce their products, seeking cooperation opportunities, and visiting businesses in Da Nang. In order to help students gain better knowledge on the APAC Economic Leaders Week 2017, many practical activities have been organized by universities in the city. The contest theme, Danak University Students with APAC 2017, was launched since the beginning of September and has attracted a large number of participants. By creating video clips for the contest, students in the city have the opportunity to learn about the formation process of APAC, improve their understanding on APAC member economies, as well as issues related to international economic integration. Since the beginning of the year, the University the city of Da Nang has organized many activities and programs on business, startup, trade agreements between Vietnam and other countries in the world, etc. During recent days, when coming to Cham Museum Da Nang City, you will have a chance to enjoy unique dye paintings by a Japanese artist, Toba Mika, under the theme Vietnam in a Miniature World. The technique that Toba Mika has pursued is called katazomi, which means dyeing patterns and motifs on fabric. Having growth in Da Nang for thousands of years and opened up a creating new world for dye paintings. With special love for the country and people of Vietnam, for more than 20 years, Toba Mika has created about 120 large scale products of Vietnam's diverse landscape. Many exhibitions of his work has been organized all over Vietnam. However, this is the first time he has even chosen such outstanding products to introduce to Da Nang public. Among such 20 Katazomi products, there are many special ones including setting off from Da Nang, thunderstorms, miso heat, Hue early morning, and so on. And that's it for today's news. Remember to check out drt.dana.vn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.